Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and Ange. So today, and I didn't say Bill this time, <laughs> Bill will be on the next video. So today what we're talking about is, is it smart to retire to Florida, okay? Some mm -hmm. people say, yes, it's, it's, it's smart to retire to Florida. Some people say it's not smart to retire to Florida. Um, so we're gonna give some pros and cons of, you know, is should you move to retire to Florida? And nope. we'll answer the question too at the end. Am I going to stay in Florida for my retirement? Or are you going to stay in Florida for your retirement? We'll answer that question and why. Now, the retirement in Florida the, is where does Florida come up in the list? We got, a, we got an well, idea. Well, you know, depending on when you do searches for that answer, you know, some people say Tennessee is number one, and Florida has a lot of cons. It used to be. You, you remember back in the day in, in Long Island when they had the Coliseum there, they, yep. they had the fair. Everybody... The Florida every, Expo. Florida Expo. Everybody was retiring to Florida. Yeah. That's what happened. You, you, you worked someplace else, you got older, you aged out, you went to Florida, and you played golf and you fished. <laughs> basically what they did, yeah. But Florida, is, Florida has been changing for many, many years, and now people are actually working in Florida retiring in Florida and leaving to go to like Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, or South Carolina. And a lot of New Yorkers, because we know a lot of them, are moving back, moving to Florida for retirement and figuring out that they can't hack it because of the heat or humidity or the cost. And what are they doing? They're moving halfway back, the Carolinas. The halfbacks. Halfbacks. So that's what we're gonna talk about. And we're gonna talk about uh, you know Florida's population. In the meantime, if you do me a favor, consider subscribing. We're, we're putting out some new videos, and we're gonna have some guests coming on. You know, talking about particular subjects I think you guys would be interested in, and I don't want you guys to miss it. So, consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up, and share. All right. So let's talk about Florida's. You know what's going on with Florida's population first. Okay. Florida has been experiencing significant population growth with more th move, people moving into the state than leaving. So we know that more people are still moving to the state. Okay, so where does the state rank in the in Well, like we're, the the we're, we're, we're the third most popular state. We surpassed New York. Wow. Between July 2021 and July 22, Florida saw a net migration gain of nearly 444,500 people, marking it the largest year over the year increase in residents moving to the state. That's a lot of people. You're talking about almost a half a million people. Yeah. And this continue trend all the way through July 24, Florida's population reached a record high of 23 million people. Wow, that's like, that's up there. Yeah, that's, making it the third most popular state. Yeah, that's like California is like 50 or something or in the high 30s, somewhere in that 30s, high 30s. Well, it mentions here too, the influx is primarily driven by domestic migration with individuals relocating from states like New York and California. Yeah, a lot of Californians are in Florida. Right. A lot. As well as international migration. While some residents do move out of Florida, the number of incoming residents has consistently outpaced those leaving, contributing to the state's ongoing population growth. Yeah, and that's a lot. And a lot of those people that came here too are like people of means. Like, oh yeah, like I mean, serious. They have money. They 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 run industries. You know, they're bringing in businesses with them. Like Miami is becoming the financial mecca. You know, of, a lot of money in Miami. Yeah, like, but I mean, but there's 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 financial institutions that are coming to Miami, and and setting up headquarters. That's where they're bringing all their employees. Well, leaving okay. New York and Jersey. In Florida, well, let's, 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 let's talk about that. Florida. One of the benefits of moving, you know, we'll run through them quickly. You know, it's no income tax. Yeah, I, but but see, but that's a double-edged sword. Because How's like, that, well, because people go like, oh, I get my check. Say, let's just work with, say you make $1,000 a week and your state income tax, whatever state you live in. I'm talking in. about retirement. Okay, but still, but, but you got to look at it this way. It's good that there's no income tax and your money you're getting, but you still got to pay like, you know, a higher electric bill, a higher water bill. Well, we're going to go over all that. But right now, that's one of the pros yeah. is no income tax. Another pro is people, when they retire, want to go to a place that they don't have to shovel snow or slip on ice. That's true. I mean, what maybe, what do we get? Maybe six hours of 32 degree weather here, and it might be from two in the morning to 335. Yeah, we were sleeping during that. <laughs> you know, and then it warms up again to 80 the next morning. You know, it's like, 
Yeah, we never see it get cold here. Yeah, okay. Another reason why people, it's a great place to retire is beautiful beaches. You gotta admit, we have some nice beaches. Florida has the nicest beaches, I, I would probably think, in the world. Like, the beaches in Florida, just, not just the beach, the water. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking East Coast and West Coast. That's, and a, that's a big benefit. Unbelievable. That's a big benefit of, you but know. The, the sand at Clearwater Beach? Unbelievable. So, listen. Affordable cost of living, they had it on the list, but it's not affordable in Florida. But the reason why I'm even mentioning it was because um, compared to where they're coming from, New York and California. Oh, yeah, it's way affordable. It's, it's affordable. Oh, yeah, it's, you, you're talking but, it's a, like a quarter of what you're paying up there. Another benefit if you're moving, if you're moving to um, Florida for retirement is there's a lot of retirement communities. There's a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, there are. And, and there's a lot of... You got the villages, you got everything. That and the villages, pe what people don't get is like, there are a whole lot of villages. Meaning like, it's not just like one. Within the villages, there's different types of villages and they're building them all over the state. So you're not going to get bored. If, you, yeah. if you're, if you you know, like over here, you know, golf, it's, the, you know, if you like playing golf, you can play golf year round. If you want to fish year round, you can play, you know, fish well, year round. Well, there's a lot of places where you could live on the golf course. Yeah, there's a, there's an active social scene for yeah. retirees. That's a big benefit of moving retiring to yeah. Florida. Here's another one. What do, what do retirees do? What am I going to do? You go on cruises. We have Cocoa Beach. We have Fort Lauderdale. We have Tampa cruise ships. You know, and you, then it, there's the hidden uh, thing about the cruise ships that you told me about. Yeah. So basically, what it is is like, say it's Thursday, and say you know there's a cruise going out to the Bahamas for three days. All right, you want to go on a cruise. I don't know if it's still, if they're still doing it, but back, you know, just a couple of years ago, you could show up that day of the cruise a few hours before and say, hey, I want to go on this cruise. And they literally would give it to you pennies on the a dollar. Yeah, you told me about that. And I actually looked that up after you told you me that. Yeah, and you and I, there's YouTube videos on it, and it's insane. It's like people will pay $1,500 for that cruise for three days. Yeah. And, and then I show up, and it's 60 bucks. It's 60 bucks. Yeah, insane. I could not believe I was like, no way. And you're like, I'm telling you, I've done it. And I'm like, I, I we, believe that we, you've we done should, it. We should go and just test it out. <laughs> we should go to Tampa Port, you know, and just show up and say, hey, I want to go on this cruise and no, see what We don't what have happens. to go on the cruise, but we can get it on video that it actually exists. Yeah. So here's another benefit of retiring, you know, in uh, Florida. It's just like when you have your grandkids come in and everything, you can take them to Disney. Well, like from Tampa. There's, there's a lot here. You can take them to Bush Gardens in Tampa. You get in the SeaWorld, you know, Universal. There's there's plenty to do for Well, there's family. a whole lot. There's, there's even like now there's... Um, different water parks that not associated with like say Disney or SeaWorld. Like there's one here in Wikiwachi Springs where they have the big slides going down and you can canoe through the uh, river and, and everything. And Edge, not, not for nothing, but I see when I lived in New York, okay, and my family lived in the next town over 10 minutes or in the same town, Allen Park, you know, I would see them maybe once every few months mm -hmm. and, and you live ten, you're talking a 10 minute drive or a walk to yeah. their house yeah. you know but now that i live in florida i see more family than ever because they come in and stay with me well not only that's that, a big benefit of retiring yeah well not only that too it's like you know people are just more happier here because it is nicer when you're up in you know nothing nothing against new york but you know when the weather gets bad everybody gets grumpy yeah okay <laughs> you know? so Another benefit is, you know, there's a lot of elderly services around, you know, the, if you can't drive, there's car services to take you to the mall. There's, there's plenty to do because, you know, it's just... Well, it's kind of catered almost to like older people here. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's state, a another yeah. benefit. Is it's a laid back lifestyle. Yeah, it's very laid back. It's, it's like you, I had to get used to it. I mean, California is a little slow compared to say New York. And uh, it took me a little while to get used to that. Then I came here and I was like, uh oh, these guys are even slower. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like when you, it's, yeah. And can't give an example like going to a McDonald's, it's just the way they talk and the way they move. But you know, they're getting things done, but that's how everyone else is. You gotta get used to it. But here's another benefit is like, we have Orlando airport, you know, we have, you know, Tampa. we have Tampa airport, you know, like Jacksonville, you have the one here. In, if you want to go on international flights, you know, you can take a freaking Uber to freaking the airport, jump on a plane and go someplace. Not only that, like we're in a pretty good location that 
like say you like Nashville, you're a big country fan. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I think it's like a seven hour drive if you drive by a car, but by, you know, the, the little jumpers, the, you know, they have the little, I don't want to call them private, but the smaller planes that fly out to, up to Nashville. I had a friend that recently just did it and he told me that a uh, round trip was $140. You know, he came from all he did from Orlando. Uh, and I don't know if that was a special like like some sort of pricing thing. But he was like, yeah, we were there in 30 minutes. He's like, it was as if like I just got out of bed. And next thing I know, I'm in Nashville on the. You yeah, know, the you could street. even put the hand by everyone. You could fly yeah. uh, a legion. You could fly to the Keys. I think it's thirty nine dollars. Yeah. Well, we're going to do the, the, the ferry. We're going to do the ferry. To, OK, to, but to, listen, yeah. there's cons, too, about, you know, retiring in Florida. And let me run through some cons. I keep going for benefits, but there's some cons, too. So hurricane risks. Yep, that's one. I don't care where you live in Florida, you're going to get hit by hurricanes. And as you get older, there's less you can do to, you know, repair it. Car insurance and homeowner's insurance is just stupid. I won't even go into it that much because it's just, it's, it's, there's so many videos on it. I did so many videos on it. It's freaking. Car insurance is, car insurance in Florida is more expensive than it is in New York. Yeah, and you know, as you get older, they seem like they charge you a little bit more. I don't know if that's true, but it just I'm looking at my parents' insurance bills and it seems higher. Well, the well, the other thing too is as you drive down some of the main roads here like US 19, you, all you see is these giant billboards for lawyers, lawyers, lawyers. Been in a car accident. Call us. All right, <laughs> here's another con. Heat, summer heat, okay, and humidity. If you think it's it's freaking hot, like you could take a shower, you could go outside. You got you t you're taking you, another shower outside. Yeah, it, it gets hot, so you have to really, well, really. It's not the heat though; it's the humidity. It's the humidity. Yeah, because it could be like 90 degrees outside, but the humidity is 96 degrees, which makes the heat feel like 104. That's a con of living. Yeah, you know, con. Of Some people don't like it. Yeah. Here's another con: traffic and crowds. A lot of well, the traffic now. We, I mean, come on, they just brought in 440,000 people. How many of those 440,000 that just moved here are driving? Probably 300,000 of them, if not more. <laughs> and it used to be like, oh, in the winter, it was more traffic because all the snowbirds came down. But now it's just as crowded in the summer, too. Oh, yeah. It's, and now it's, it's almost as if you can't even tell anymore when the snowbirds leave and come. You know, it's almost as you used to be able to in some areas. I don't know this. My mother told me, especially where we live here. She's like, you could tell when people left because it got quieter. She's like, now you can't tell anymore. Yeah, so basically expensive flood insurance. You know, if you want flood insurance, you're living on the coastal, it's it's thousands, okay? Get, get ready to start paying $12,000 a year for well, property insurance. But that's if you're living on, on the on bay, the, yeah, you know, the coast, Gulf, yeah. yeah, or the East Coast side. Yeah, all right. Bugs and wildlife. I don't see a lot of bugs in wildlife. I, I do here. Um, we I see um, coyotes, but I think you see coyotes. But I, I, I have coyotes in my backyard. Yeah. They don't bother me. I have deer in my backyard. I have alligators in my backyard. I don't have alligators here. We have a black snake, like a garden snake that's about three feet long. That's yeah, around I have my a property here somewhere. Okay. Yeah. So like, and if you live near, a, here's a con, if you live near a tourist area, like Clearwater Beach or something, you're going to be fighting the tourist. And the prices in restaurants are higher and everything because yeah. they're charging you know but if you ever do go down to Clearwater uh, go to Hulk Hogan's restaurant it's pretty cool he's got statues of himself and old wrestling yeah, I've never been it's there it's pretty cool I've been there a couple of months ago it was awesome all right limited public transportation we don't really have bus services and trains to, you know to get nah, there's no real mass transit here so you have to have a car so bang they got you for the car and the car insurance all right so here's another one that's really important is health care you know some areas have really good health care like um, Tampa has really good health care. Yeah, what, what is it? The Tampa General? General yeah, yeah, that's like a like a world-renowned hospital. Right, but there's some we, hospitals that I know of that, eh, I don't know. Yeah, there's a couple of them on the list that aren't too great, but, you know, there's, Florida does have a lot of good, a lot of good doctors, a lot of good nurses. Yeah. So, Social Security, Medicare wait times could be higher when, you know, could be higher because there's so many people. You know, when you go into a doctor, I found this with my mother too. You know, if if she's on Medicare, you know, you go into a doctor, yeah. you, you, you might have to wait a little while. Meaning, like wait like a month or so for your appointment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, allergies, you know, and mold. 
Well, we get that moss. A lot of the, the you know, the green moss, you'll get that even grown on houses and on the sidewalk because it because of the humidity and it's a wet climate. You know, now not wet like it's it hasn't rained here in days, if not two weeks or so. I mean, we get a little drizzle maybe at four o'clock in the morning, but not like it was raining in say you know June, July, and August. Also, here's here's a con of retiring in Florida is the price of homes have gone through the roof. Yeah, but not compared to like if you were to buy, I can't say middle America, you know, like because you, you, you can go to like, you know, Appleton, Wisconsin and get a house, you know, at a, at a decent price and a very nice size house. But do you want to live in the middle of Wisconsin, you know, very cold winter? Um, but, you know, you compare a house, you know, nice, a nice house and a piece of property here. If you're moving down from, say, Long Island, you can buy basically, you know, a garage in Long Island and you're paying almost a million dollars for it. You know, it's top dollar. Oh, yeah, it's top dollar. So let, let, check this out. Uh, outside, it says bank rate ra ranked Delaware as the best state for retirees. Cites high quality health care, light tax burden, affordable homeowners insurance, and favorable weather. And and I can understand that in Delaware. You know why? Because it's literally like pretty close to Washington. And a lot of those politicians live over there. So they probably <laughs> conversely, make sure they keep that stuff con down. Conversely, <laughs> U.S. News and World Report analysis place Pennsylvania cities prominently on the list as the best places to retire. With Harrisburg, Pennsylvania ranked as the number one place to retire in the U.S. You see, everybody has their own opinions. Yeah, I mean. It, it's just... It, it's but if you put it this way, I don't know Harrisburg at all. I know where it is, but they're going to have a winter. They're going to get snow. It's going to freeze. Do you really want to live in that? So here, here's some of them that people mentioned that this, these are good places overall because of affordability, factors of healthcare, quality, climate, overall well-being. Okay, Delaware, West Virginia, Georgia, South Carolina, and Missouri. That's a weird, I mean, you'd... Like Missouri offers low costs of living and affordable housing. Missouri also provides a range of outdoor activities and culture that attracts suitable for retirees. I don't know. It's, I don't know. St. Louis, maybe? Not, maybe not. South Carolina features a mild climate, variety of recreational activities. State also provides favorable tax policies for retirees, such as exemptions on Social Security benefits. I mean, everyone's got their little thing. They I think, got their I, little thing. Yeah, everyone's got something. Georgia know? combines warm climate with relatively low cost of living. The state also offers tax benefits for retirees, including exemptions on certain retirement incomes. Yeah, I, but Georgia is another place that's got like really bad humidity. <laughs> like really, Atlanta, that's why they call it hot Atlanta. This one, uh, this one I'm surprised at. West Virginia, known for its affordability, West Virginia has the lowest cost of living in the nation making it attractive for retirees on a fixed income. However, it's important to note that the state ranks lower in health care quality. Yeah, I, West Virginia is, you know, it's coal mining country. Um, those are all solid people, but it's low income, you know, and there's not much there, and, and it's, you know, generations of people. And they have a lot, you know, they have, as much as it's good, they definitely have their problems. All right, so Virginia. here, I gotta answer the question I said at the beginning of this video. Me, if I don't retire in Florida, which I think I'm going to end up retiring because I like fishing, I would move to Tennessee. I feel then like you can't fish, but I would have to move to a lake or something that I can freshwater fish again. How boring is that? <laughs> believe it or not, there's more freshwater people than saltwater people. I get that because saltwater, you need a boat and everything else like that. Well, you don't need a boat, but there's more freshwater people than the. It's, freshwater fishing is a bigger industry than saltwater fishing. Oh, I agree with that. You know, I, I, I saw a river runs through it and, you know, they're out fly fishing. <laughs> you know? So, what about you retiring? Florida? I'm probably going to retire in Florida. But. Oh, I'll put it this way. If, if I was to ever leave Florida, which I don't plan on ever leaving, I would only go two places would you go back to california that's one of them that yeah, i would go back to. i can't believe you would rather go back to california than stay here or you, no i'm you, saying you, if i left here if i did leave here i would that's one place i would consider going back to and that's because they just have a beautiful climate and what about I, new york no never i hate new york new york is the worst <laughs> no. like i just like, i know you hate new york that place already it's well, so no, bad. Don't, don't listen to him it's so bad we're, we're new york <laughs> it's so bad new york is so bad it's like i don't even tell anyone i'm from new york 
like you know they can tell from just listening to your I voice. know my accent and everything like that but then they say like I you know what I tell them I literally tell them I go yeah I used to spend summers back in in New York and then I'd come back here you're more of a New Yorker than anybody uh, I am but I hate the place I really do where were you born and, where were you born Oceanside no I was actually born in in uh, Brooklyn so <laughs> that's even worse <laughs> Everyone, everyone's from Brooklyn but but you know then we moved to Long Island but the, you know put it this way Long Island was good for, there's really nothing wrong with any place. It's what you make of it. Um, it's just that we've gotten older and what we were used to when we were growing up in, in the, you know, the eight, later 80s into the 90s, things changed. So, so now we came to Florida to retire. Yeah, and I mean, put it this way, no one's retiring. You know, you're gonna work literally to the day you die. And I don't mean work like, you know, you're going into an office, stuff mm -hmm. like that. I mean, this right here, doing these things, this is basically, uh, I don't like to use the word job or work. I use, because what I do is I make television shows and I always say, I'm in the studio, I'm going to the studio because I love what I do, right? And that's basically what you're doing here too. Like you go into the studio, the studio may be outdoors, but you can be doing this when you're like, God bless you, 150. You know what I'm saying? If people are watching, because remember, I may be, old but you're getting older <laughs> <laughs> all right that's today's video do me a favor don't forget to subscribe it's really really important so you don't miss those videos i was talking about watch this video over here it's a really good one i picked it out just for you guys and we'll talk to you in the next one thank you and have a great day